nose hair. Often overlooked, frequently forgotten, and always distracting when left to just run wild and go ungroomed. So last time, I was showing you how to tweeze, shape, and trim your eyebrows. If you missed it, there's a link in the description so you can go and check it out. Now with eyebrows, how much you groom and to what extent you shape really comes down to personal preference and genetics. But with nose hair, the question isn't if you have to manage it, it's what tool you're going to use to do it. Now unlike back hair, chest hair, crotch hair, you can cover with clothes, nose hair, it's not that way. It's always in your face. And it's not like skipping a day of shaving, all right? If you forget to trim your nose hair, it's more like bad breath. Once somebody notices it, it's all they can think about. It's kind of gross and it is totally distracting. It's about to get real up in here because I'm going to take it one step further. Ready? Let me lay it out there. Boogers, bats in the cave, cliffhangers, whatever you want to call them. Everybody knows that feeling. All right, you're going about your day. Everything's good. You're like, man, I kicked ass today. What a great... And then you look in the mirror and you see it. It's hanging there. How long has it been there? Five minutes? Five hours? Has everybody you've been coming in contact with seen this and not had the heart to tell you that you got a cliffhanger hanging out of your nose? So today, I figured we'd go over the various options, the pros and cons, so that your nostrils are always looking sharp. Option number one is getting your nose hair waxed. The upside, it's incredibly fast. Oh, mama. And effective. And that is what comes out. One of the downsides, it's not an exact science. Ready? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming out? <laughs> just because your head is... Oh! One tug or three, it hurts like a bitch. And the other downside, it costs money. About 10 to $15 every time you go. Next option. Battery powered nose hair trimmers. The upside, it's reasonably fast. And part of that speed is due to the incredibly fast rotations of those blades, which leads me to one of the downsides of electric nose hair trimmers is that unless you get a great one, and great ones are very difficult to find. Most of us go to a store and like, oh, $10 nose hair trimmer, for and you stick it up your nose and it tears. It doesn't cut, it tears the hairs out of your nose and nostril. And if it doesn't do that, it nicks or it clips. And if you have ever nicked the inside of your nose, ay, 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 ay. Looking to try something different, something without batteries? This little thing is actually called the GroomMate. There's a link to this down in the description as well. And uh, how it works, basically the same principle as the electric nose hair trimmer with a little guard. There's a blade, you spin this, it rotates, but instead of a battery, it's actually man-powered. It comes with a cool little carrying case and a brush to brush it out when you're done. But all you do, seriously, check it out. You stick it in your nose, hold it still, and spin and the little blades go around and it cuts the hair it is incredibly effective now there is a learning curve with this the first time I used this I didn't know how to use it I didn't watch a video I just bought it and I put it up there and I start spinning and I tried to move it all right this isn't like an electric one where you can move it all over and it gets uh, -uh not like that at all you stick it in you hold it still with your one hand and you spin and then you move and spin but don't drag it because it will pluck hairs but if used properly this thing is a great option and the last option <laughs> that I'm going to talk about is actually using nose hair trimming scissors. These are special scissors. What makes them special is this little tip. Check out the tip of these scissors. They're rounded, which means that you're not going to injure yourself or stab yourself when you stick them in your nose. The upside? Once you buy these, you've got them, and you can use them for other grooming rituals like eyebrows, facial hair, mustaches, um, and they're not that expensive, only $15. These are stainless steel, they're made by Apex. There's a link below to these as well, and these are the best ones that I have used. The upside, you've got incredible control. One of the downside though, it takes a little bit longer, and um, you don't get as close as you do with some of the electric or the trimming methods. But before I go, there's one other aspect of nose hair grooming that I would like to discuss that nobody else is talking about. Um, for those of you who don't have this problem, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. Lucky you. For those of you who do suffer from this, like I do, then you're going to be happy we discussed it. And that is the little black hairs that grow on the top of your nose. It's very common in men that have really dark hair, and uh, I personally suffer from it. I get these little black hairs that grow out of the pores of my nose. Now, from a distance, you can't see them, but if you get all up in it, you can see them. Facial hair wax strips, and here's how you do it, all right? You remove a wax strip, all right? It comes like this. One does the trick. Put it in your palm, and you rub it, all right? This is going to heat up the wax. Mm. Get it nice and hot, all right? And when you're done, 
you're actually going to peel it, comes apart, and then you are going to lay the wax over the tip of your nose. Smooth it down, on it, just right there, and then remove. Wah! And all the little hairs are gone. And my nose is super soft. What? Did I finally cross the line? You're like, that's this guy. Here's the deal. All right? Nobody's talking about this stuff, and so I feel it's my duty and my responsibility. Why? Because I love you. But something we all have and have to manage are the hairs in our nose, all right? I, put it like this, all right? You don't want to be that guy. You know the guy I'm talking about, the guy with the crazy nose hair. He looks like a wildebeest, right? Like tufts of, it's nasty, all right? Seriously. And it's not just guys that have nostrils the size of sewer caps, all right? You small nostril guys out there, damn you. You gotta do it too, gentlemen. It's just a simple grooming choice and ritual that you need to apply once a week. You take care of it, you manage it, you're not gonna have anything to worry about. Gentlemen, nose hair, it sucks, but grooming it, it doesn't have to.